and we are in trouble, but we don't really care. Tell ourselves there's always tomorrow, but it will still be there. No, they don't pick us. Hello, everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing another after dark clean with me. I know a lot of you enjoy seeing these evening cleaning routines. So I'm going to share with you what I get done at the end of the day. Um, I'm going to share with you the uh, laundry, just putting it away. I'm going to share my dinner recipe for tonight. So I hope you guys enjoy coming along for this um, clean with me today. I've started today's um, clean with me at around 4 p.m. I think it was. So first thing that I'm going to do is take the laundry upstairs because it was all nice and dry. So I'm just going to take it out of the machine and then I'm going to take it upstairs to fold and um, put it back in where it belongs. So um, some of the things will go in our wardrobes and then um, I'm also going to fold some things in Victor's room as well. I like to fold the things in Victor's room there just because I put them in the Kanmari way in his um, drawers. So the way I do this is I kind of put them upright so that I can see what's in his drawers. I just find this method works so so much better than just putting them one on top of each other. For dinner tonight I'm going to make parmesan chicken in the oven and I'm going to make a side of pasta for this as well. Um, so I'm going to need some chicken breast that I cut into strips, I'm going to use some uh, breadcrumbs, a bit of olive oil, salt and pepper, um, garlic cloth like garlic powder uh, and then I'm going to use some grated parmesan and some tomato sauce as well. Just a bit to put on top to make it a bit more um, like a bit more juicy. <laughs> um, so I'm going to put some olive oil in the pan and then I'm going to season my chicken and then coat it with the breadcrumbs. And now I'm going to add a bit of tomato sauce on top. You don't have to do this if you don't want to, but I wanted it to be a bit more um, like moist because when you put it in the oven, it can get a bit dry, uh, especially with chicken breast. So I'm going to put some tomato sauce on top and then some Parmesan cheese as well. And it made quite a nice crust um, on top in the oven. And then the chicken will go in the oven at 200 degrees Celsius for about 20 to 25 minutes, uh, depending on your oven.
and while the chicken is in the oven I'm going to start making the uh, pasta side so I am using shell pasta tonight and then on the side um, like for the saucy part I'm going to make uh, buttery garlic and parsley sauce which I have uh, seen on a website it's a Romanian website for recipes which is really great but um, I will link it down below for those of you who are interested um, so you use 50 grams of butter three or four garlic cloves and some parsley leaf that you um, chop up and that's about it for the sauce and you use um, a shell pasta because it kind of catches the sauce inside so that's what I'm going to do tonight for um, the side dish What you do And that's our pasta ready it was really really delicious and I actually made a separate pasta for Victor just the orange it he calls it orange pasta it's just tomato and mascarpone sauce he really loves it I was pretty sure he was not gonna eat the one with parsley on top <laughs> so I made him orange pasta on the side um, especially for him and that's our dinner done then after we are done with dinner I'm going to start tidying up in the dining area just give the dining table a good spray it's always always messy after meal times um, so I'm going to use my method spray for this and then I'm going to move in the rest of the kitchen because there were uh, plates and just things on the counters all over the kitchen you set my wheels in motion I'm going crazy for I'm going to put the leftovers in these containers that we got from Ikea and I'm going to pop them in the fridge for tomorrow. We usually have leftovers after um, our dinners. And then I'm going to move in the, um, like the sink area and I'm going to put all of these dishes away in the dishwasher. Um, and I'm going to hand wash a few using my Dishmatic. Um, if you guys don't know, Dishmatic is kind of like a brush thingy that you put the liquid in the handle and it's really convenient to use. I really love using this for uh, my dishes. And then I'm also going to try and put the, uh, these dishes back in their place so that the counters are all nice and clear for tomorrow morning.
And I'm going to go ahead and use my method spray on the counters as well. I think this is the most satisfying part for me, just kind of making sure all the surfaces in here are clean. Um, so I'm going to go over uh, the entire kitchen and give it a good wipe. You were tall, I looked up From where I sat, wished I would have dressed up Your first line, won't forget So is it true, no one's taking you yet I remember people, staring as we stepped outside They had only one goal, give me all for your mind I was no good, they said, you could do much better I'm also going to hoover in the kitchen as well. There were quite a few crumbs on the floor. Um, so I'm using my Dyson cordless for this, which I really love. I just find it so convenient to use. Um, on, I think we use it on a daily basis. Um, and then I'm also going to mop in here. I use the Bona mop, again, a really convenient tool. I'm all about convenience. So yeah, I love this mop because you don't need a bucket and it's just really quick and easy to use. Now that the kitchen is sparkling clean, I'm going to move in the living room and we're going to start tidying up uh, toys. Already I'm saying to tidy up, so I'm going to Okay. It's time to tidy up. It's time to tidy up. It's time to put the toys away. It's time to tidy up. In case you're wondering, he's repeating a uh, routine it's from time his nursery time from, time time from time time preschool. They do tidy up and he uh, likes doing that at home too. Right, can you put all these transactions in the basket, mommy? Please. Okay. As you can see, at the end of the day, our living room floor is most often covered with toys. So I'm going to tidy up the train tracks. Um, the puzzles, this um, like road carpet thingy that we have from Ikea and just kind of putting all of the toys back in their place and um, I find that my toddler has started um, like trying to be involved in the tidying up even more so um, since he started preschool. Um, they do have kind of a routine to tidy up there as well. I think after playtime they have um, tidy up time and then they do stories and things like that. So Victor's definitely noticed that routine and he is much more uh, willing to get involved at home as well. So he's been really amazing at tidying up lately. He, he was always involved, but not as much as he is now. But yeah, I'm really, really happy about that. Now that we've come so far they're going nuts, but how happy we are. See the bond that we made. It all seems real. Then the boys will have a bit of playtime here. They're just playing with the Legos. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and uh, tidy up our shoes at the entrance. Um, and then I'm also going to hoover in here as well. Um, I'm going to um, fold up the throws and just the cushions and just kind of straighten up in here before we go upstairs for bed. I really love cleaning the kitchen and tidying up downstairs as much as I can before we go upstairs for Victor's bedtime because I know once we come downstairs I'm kind of in relax mode and I'm less likely to do uh, chores and cleaning so I just try to do as much as I can before we go upstairs and then when we come downstairs it's all relaxing time we can watch Netflix and just not think about cleaning the kitchen and then when we wake up in the morning it's really really nice to wake up to a clean kitchen I just Feel like there's no better feeling than walking in the morning in the kitchen and being able to make your coffee without worrying about any mess. And we really got them. Yeah, we sure did write it out because we have each other. That's what it's all about. I was no good, they said. You could do much better, but you gave them. Then, after Victor's in bed, before I go downstairs to relax on the sofa, I'm actually going to do my skincare routine because um, once I go downstairs, as I said, I get um, into chill mode and I find that I'm less likely to do my whole routine when I come upstairs um, to go to bed. So I just do it now to make sure that I am quite thorough with it. So I'm going to start by using the uh, the Body Shop Chamomile Cleanser. This is really amazing. It's an oil one and it's really great for taking off makeup, especially eye makeup. Um, and it's just really nice to kind of rub your eyes with it. It's such a nice feeling. And then I rinse with water and then I uh, just use a cloth to take off the rest of the makeup. 
And I usually do a double cleanse, so I'm going to use the La Roche-Posay Effaclar um, cleanser as well. This is more kind of like a um, deeper clean, um, and the, um, the body shop is more like a makeup remover thingy. And then I'm going to do the rest of my skincare. I will link down below all of the products that I've um, used here, in case you guys are wondering. I wanted to show you a PR product that I've been sent that I actually really like. I really like their mission and kind of what they stand for. It's called Nursem and it's basically a hand cream. It's really nourishing and I really like their uh, the Nursem promise. They say that for every product that you buy they give a month's worth of uh, Nursem products to nurses and midwives. If you guys don't know I have been in hospital lately and I've been cared for by nurses and midwives so so lovingly and I just I feel like anything that gives back to them, um, they really, really deserve it and I just want to support that. So um, yeah, I will link their products down below for anyone who's interested. And then I'm going to sit down on the sofa and relax for the rest of the night. So I'm going to watch some Netflix. We've actually been watching The Queen's Gambit. We finished the entire series and it was really, really good. Um, I didn't expect it to be, but it was really amazing. So I highly recommend you watch this if you haven't already. Let me know what you guys are watching on Netflix at the moment because I really, really need some suggestions. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video um, and I hope I will see you in my next one. Bye guys!